and evil really just kind of started on their whole like first person like actual scare so well, really saying, like, many like, like fucking it, it goes back to also again tv series and movies zombies i'm oh, fucking yeah, tired yeah. of zombies like the zombie apocalypse comes i'm fucking ready if it ever comes but i'm fucking tired of zombie video games i'm fucking Tired of fucking zombie movies and no offense, Michael. I know you like The Walking Dead and stuff, but it just. I don't really watch it that much anymore because of how old it's gotten. Video games are dead. I give it three years at least, at minimum, three years before you get a true game that everybody is excited about. <laughs> And it probably won't even be a perfect release game. It'll probably be the same bullshit we get now. Basically, um, I jumped on in a party and with the usual guys and they were having a conversation talking about the industry and the way games are and just YouTube and everything in general and just the way the community is right now. I have to agree with what they said. I want to know your guys' opinions. We just kind of talked about the way that things are just kind of dying right now. I don't want to say it's getting old, but just something is happening. Something is changing. I don't really want to jinx myself because I have only been on this channel for like two, two and a half weeks and... I've just been blowing up. I, I got 300 subscribers in like, psh, I don't know, a week. Let me know what you think about this. Three years before we get a video game that everybody can agree on and everybody's excited about. I think the problem with everything is money. Everybody like, loves money. Like, look what happened to Call of Duty. Like, it is so bad now. But it is, but, but here's the thing. Call of Duty's still over fucking oversold on Battlefield 1. Even though it got fucking 2.5 million fucking dislikes on YouTube, that game still sold more than Battlefield 1. And that's just because of their fan base. I mean, people can hate on them, and I hate, them on, hate on them too, but obviously they know what they're doing. Yeah, a lot of people hate it, but they're still making their sales. They're still, like, they can still release a game every year, and they know it's going to sell. They just, I you know. I heard that they made like three something billion dollars off the supply drops in Black Ops 3. Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely. That's, that's, that's where everybody makes their monies now, but yet they still will charge you for fucking, you know, like their DLCs. And that's where it just starts becoming just a money whore fucking, like, just ridiculous. The internet has killed everything in life. That's why I think everything's been, like, why everything back then was just better, just like, whatever because i had no clue when it came out like that's when i found out when it got released on shelves that's when i found out about that game for the most part you know, like most of the games yeah. activision releasing a new game okay everyone runs to the storm by it because it's activision we've had two games we know is perfect from them shit this game was shitty but it's too late they already got all our money I want and like one two three two. movies it induces pirating and pirating is takes away money which takes away money from the industry, which means no more good movies, no more good video games. I give it three years at least, like I said, and I pray to God I'm wrong, but I say at least three years. Even if they come out with a new fucking system, aside from horror, virtual reality, aside from horror, virtual reality, I give it three years before we see another amazing video game. Like when I seen Battlefront and I played it with this man, Michael, I just gave up. I gave up on it. It was horrible. It was fun for like two seconds until you realized the lack of content that was actually in it. And that, that goes back to like Bass said, this the just releasing of incomplete games. The worst part, the part that pisses me the most off, YouTubers and these fans going to these major game events and getting early access to these games and playing them. I give it three years. Yeah, we'll see. And we'll see what Rockstar, happens. And not because they're not releasing shit and they never do release shit. Rockstar might surprise the shit out of us and have GTA 6 next year. Or... That's the thing, but... GTA GTA 5 was 2013. 2017, it's not exactly, it's not, it's not been four years yet. And they're usually like a four to like six year type of like, you know, company. It's usually like a four to like six year jump, like between their main games. What time is it? Oh my fucking off. god. I kept you on for another hour after you said you already been talking Holy for an hour. Holy shit, dude! I was 12:30 when I said fucking I'm getting off. I was 12:30. How fucking another hour just passed like that? What the fuck? The power of good conversation. I'm gonna fuck this conversation. 
That's bullshit. That's fucking 140. It's almost two in the goddamn morning. I literally hopped off of Battlefield at 11:05, and that's when we started talking about this. Fuck conversations. We're not ever having another fucking conversation for like a fucking month, okay? <laughs> we trying to start a conversation. That's, that's gonna be the whole stop. fucking. This is gonna end. That's gonna be Michael's next video. The whole fucking conversation. Me trying to start a conversation. He's like, no, fuck you. I'm not having a conversation. Fucking two hours, two hours of a conversation right there. We're gonna take a break. We just aren't gonna talk to each other. We're gonna, we're gonna be in the same party. Just no talking to each other. Other than, are you getting on this game or not? And that's it. Like that's <laughs> it. Right now, it's gonna be illegal for us to talk to each other. I mean, Michael, that could be your video for tomorrow. Just two people go talking for two hours about video games. Yeah, Name it eat mass again or some shit. <laughs> and it's just in the end, it's just people talking about fucking video well, games. You wouldn't be lying because I did at some point mention eating ass. Oh yeah, you did. You did say something about fucking ass. Well, not fucking ass. Yeah, you didn't say something. No. How I got Rockstar to eat my asshole. <laughs> oh, I, I got a fucking friend request on PS4. I'm definitely gonna download. Just it could have been from YouTube, bro. Because yeah, I, I have so stuff. many. Yeah, but my my username isn't on YouTube, is it? Yeah, it is. It can be seen in videos. Oh yeah, and you, you did give me like you didn't give me a description spot like you like you did Dante. That's because he has a channel. Yeah, yeah bro, you gotta get a channel, dude. But I, mean, I did I have get a channel, a but I don't screen. really fucking ever post on this. So fuck that. What's I the point of putting screen. your name in there if it doesn't do anything? <laughs> so <the> people, <laughs> yeah, like you just want people. You just fucking. <laughs> so the people know me. So that when I, I do start a YouTube you. channel, video. so that when I start a YouTube channel, they can be like, oh, I know him from way back when. I'm well, sure they'll recognize you real quick. That's what I meant, put Charlie Fox 69 in there. Speaking of fucking shout outs, the fact that Dante had to get on this man's YouTube video and comment, shout out to me. <laughs> nope, I'm gonna sit. <laughs> gonna sleep. Gonna sleep. All right. Yep. I'll catch y'all. Gonna All fucking right. off this, cause I'll just fucking be on fucking somehow, some way, starting up another another conversation with this man. I'm going to sleep now, cause this is just gonna get out of hand. I think. Hit me up tomorrow. Just. All right. <laughs> just hit me up tomorrow. Jesus Christ.